Workload Scheduler for Cloud Automation Is it better to over-provision cloud resources, with the risk of wasting them? Or under-provision, with the risk of degrading performance? How about provisioning just the right amount of resources, for only the time period you need them? Exactly what you need, when you need it, and rather than incur extra costs and waste, deprovision when you're done. All automatically. It's not a long way, if you follow these directions. Edward knows all about them, let's follow him. Edward works in the application support team for a large company with branches around the world. He is the expert of the financial applications. The company uses Workload Scheduler to orchestrate batch workflows that automate the various business processes. Every day, sales data from each geography are centrally processed. It is the end of month, and the financial closing application is running, processing a huge amount of data. Early in the morning Edward receives an alert, the system is blocked due to lack of resources. Edward is in panic mode. He works hard all morning, to complete the jobs and produce the final report required by top management. Edward knows that the workload, at the end of month, would require additional cloud resources, currently provisioned by Amazon Web Services, but these would result in increased costs, and would be underutilized for the rest of the month. A few days later, Edward receives good news from the workload scheduler administrator, about dynamic resource provisioning. A new cloud automation solution, is available with Workload Scheduler, that automate dynamic provisioning and deprovisioning of virtual machines, on as needed basis. Edward asked Marnie, the scheduler, to modify the financial closing workflow that runs at the end of month. She adds a first Amazon Web Services job, before the financial closing job stream. This job, requests that an additional virtual machine is provisioned, before the massive elaboration starts. Then, she adds a second Amazon Web Services job, after the job stream has completed, to deprovision the virtual machine. The Amazon Web Services job, can create a virtual machine by selecting an image template, and also start, stop, power off, pause and resume a virtual machine. Amazon Web Services is just one of the cloud automation plugins, available with Workload Scheduler. You have also Microsoft Azure, and IBM Soft Layer. With this solution, Edward no longer worries about the end of month peak periods. Workload Scheduler Makes your cloud automation more agile, responsive, and cost-effective.